There's no song in me. Oh, can't you see that I'm not stupid? I'm just a glum, glum... How can anybody be that mean? It's the cruelest mean I've ever heard of. a big old fat pumpkin. I still don't think modern parents letting their children run rampant on the streets at night. But it's Halloween, Aunt Agatha. They were just having fun. Oh, why wasn't I left in the pumpkin patch? I could have gotten in another line of work. Been a pie or something. <laughs> I'm a failure. Nobody wants me. I'm just a reject and an orphan. I'm an orphan. Nobody will adopt me. Nobody. Who wants a glum pumpkin? Nobody. That's who. Everybody wants grinning, happy pumpkins, or horrible, evil, wonderful pumpkins. But glum pumpkins? Never! But, but I can't help it. That's the way I was carved. Oh, why wasn't I left in the pumpkin patch? I could have gotten in another line of work. Been a pie or something. <laughs> But now, nobody wants me, and, 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 tonight's Halloween! <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll be just like a Christmas tree on December 26th. Who wants a pumpkin after Halloween? <laughs> What a pity. What a pity. It just isn't fair. How can anybody be that mean? It's the cruelest mean I've ever heard of. I feel so sorry for him. Poor little guy. I've never seen him smile. He doesn't have anything to smile about. Or treat indeed. Off with you. The idea. This is sheer bribery. You'll not get a treat here. And you'd better not try any of your tricks, or I'll have the police on you. Why don't you get on the jobs? The idea. Modern parents. <laughs> Letting their children run rampant on the streets at night. But it's Halloween, Aunt Agatha. They were just having fun. That is no excuse, young man, for robbing and threatening honest citizens. But can I at least have a pumpkin? Ralph, dear, and he knows best. Pumpkins cause fires and they attract fruit flies. Now you go to sleep. There's a good boy. And tomorrow we'll go to the museum and look at the rocks. Yuck. Boy, that is one mean lady. I don't know, Andy. Oh, come on, Anne. Don't tell me you're going to be fair again. Well, I don't think she's really mean. I mean, I just think she's forgotten what it's like to be a ch A kid. A kid? Are you kidding? And Agatha wasn't never a kid. Well, I'll admit it is a little hard to imagine. And anyway, Ralph's our problem right now. Right. We gotta figure out a way to help Ralph. 
Now, let's see. Well, we could smuggle a parachute into his room. Or threaten Aunt Agatha with income tax invasion, or... Um... Pumpkin! Pumpkin? <laughs> what do you mean, pumpkin? You always yelling pumpkin. A pumpkin? That's what Ralph needs. Don't you see, Andy? We can't get Ralph out. But we can get a pumpkin in. Where'd we get a pumpkin? All the pumpkins been taken. Let's see now. Uh, we'll need a flashlight to light the pumpkin's insides with. And some rope to pull it up to Ralph's window. And... Oh, yeah? And just what is your big old fat plan to carry a big old fat heavy pumpkin from there to here? Well, that's the easiest part. Okay. Okay. So now we got a big old fat way to transport a big old fat pumpkin. Now all we need is a big old fat pumpkin. I still don't think... It, it just stands to reason that if there's a little boy here who needs a pumpkin, there just has to be a pumpkin out there someplace that needs a little boy. Who wants a pumpkin after Halloween? <laughs> I'm a failure. Nobody wants me. I'm just a reject. And, and an orphan. I'm an orphan. And all my sisters and brothers got good homes. Even my revolting cousin Stanley. But nobody will adopt me. <laughs> Who wants a glum pumpkin? Nobody. That's who. Everybody wants grinning, happy pumpkins or horrible, evil, wonderful pumpkins. But glum pumpkins, never. If a boy needs a pumpkin, and a pumpkin needs a boy. Now, that's about like saying that if a boy needs an ice cream cone, an ice cream cone needs a boy. Oh, come on. Well, it may sound funny, but we are determined to find a pumpkin. Aren't we, Arthur? We could steal somebody else's pumpkin. Ah, oh, Andy, you can't make somebody happy by making somebody else sad. Ever try it? No, I don't think it's fair. I know, I know, it isn't fair. You know, we better find a pumpkin pretty quick, or we're gonna run out of Halloween. Yes, I know. It does seem to be getting sort of hopeful. <laughs> I have been an apple. People don't expect so much out of apples. <laughs> One month old, and it has been. And nobody will want me tomorrow. We want you. We want you now. Oh, no. No, you're making a mistake. You don't understand. Nobody wants me. I'm a... Glum pumpkin. Oh, you're a beautiful pumpkin. And you're going to make a glum little boy terribly happy. I am? I'm going to make a glum little boy terribly happy? I am? Oh, I can't believe it. If only I had hands, I'd pinch myself. Mm -hmm. And my very own life, too. I just can't believe it. 
Hey, we better get started. We're running out of Halloween again. Push them along. Uh, oh. oh, my, you are heavy. Here we are. Ready? Let it go. Roscoe speaking. Sergeant, sir, you may find this difficult to believe, but I have just witnessed something unique, I think, in the annals of crime. I have just observed the following. One jogger, male, exceeding the speed limit by at least 30 miles an hour. One pumpkin, pumpkin color, also exceeding the speed limit by at least 20 miles an hour. One cat, cat color, disturbing the peace. Three ghosts, one with four wheels. Wheels, not feet. The other two ghosts had only one wheel. Uh, one wheel each, that is. Well, I can pick up like the one I've got. Uh, but no, sir. Nothing stronger than coffee. Man, I'm no, sir. There is no record of insanity in my family. I'm not no, sir. Not until today, that is. Roscoe? I want to apologize for doubting your...
This is a wish I was afraid to wish, because I was so sure it'd never come true. But it is. It is true.